Paul Pogba lost, Anthony Marshall ignored and £40 million Victor Lindelof worst defender Jose Mourinho has ever signed. Jose Mourinho had that familiar angry, snarling and frustrated look etched across his face as he prowled the touchline. We have seen it before, of course, as it generally comes in Mourinho's third season in charge while lost in a paranoid rage believing the world is against him. And this felt like the sort of humiliating defeat which sends Mourinho into meltdown as his boom and bust style of management rarely makes it look like he will stick around for the long term. You can forget about the off the field distractions about accusing deadly rivals Manchester City lacking class because of their TV documentary or even the latest installment of the Paul Pogba soap opera. This was about United producing a shambolic, abject and chaotic performance which suggested the players are either not good enough or have had enough of their manager and have given up playing for him. It feels like we have entered Moreno's third season syndrome at United just as he did at Chelsea and Real Madrid after lasting only two years at Inter Milan. Too early in the season to draw these conclusions? Not when you lose like this. These sort of damaging. Embarrassing defeats are rarely forgotten because of United's proud and glorious history. They expect much better. It would have been worse but for Paul Pogba's 95th minute penalty which brought some sort of respectability to the scoreline which the performance did not deserve. Brighton showed more heart, more passion and, worst of all for Moreno, more quality than United. Brighton set the tempo and the standard but it must go down as the worst defeat since Moreno took charge in May 2016. TV pundit Graham soon has called the United squad the worst set of players at Old Trafford since pre-Sir Alex Ferguson days and it is hard to disagree. What compounds the issue is the likes of Victor Lindelof as a Moreno buy and, at £40 million, might just be the worst defender he has ever signed. There are far too many other average players just coasting in a United shirt. United look rudderless, they have lost their identity and do not seem to be making any progress under Moreno which is perhaps the most worrying thing of all. Amid all of that, Moreno is blaming his board for a lack of signings, the players have probably had enough of him and it is hard to see this bunch winning any silverware this season. How Pogba can go from World Cup winner to looking lost in midfield is anyone's guess. Anthony Marshall was not even acknowledged by Moreno when he went off in the second half and there are similar little fallouts with players all over the pitch. It showed in United's attitude as they were undone far too easily, Brighton going ahead after 25 minutes after Solly March put in a low cross, Glenn Murray ran round his marker Lindelof about three times in the box before coolly slotting home. Just two minutes and 23 seconds later. It was two and this time it was the other center half Eric Bailey who must shoulder the blame. Bailey conceded a needless corner, then went missing when Anthony Knockert set up Shane Duffy to slot home his first ever Premier League goal. Mind you, you do not often face defenses this bad. United got one back after 34 minutes when Luke Shaw battled on the edge of the box, the ball carried through and Romelu Lukaku headed home from close range. But any thoughts of a fight back quickly disappeared just before half-time, Bailey's reckless and clumsy challenge on Pascal Gross after the ball had gone gifted Brighton a penalty. Up stepped Gross to give Brighton a 3-1 half-time lead. Moreno hauled off Juan Mata and Andreas Pereira at half-time, their replacements Jesse Lingard and Marcus Rashford showed more heart and passion, but it was already too late. United got their second in the 95th minute when Duffy's stupid challenge upended substitute Maruane Fellini and Pogba slotted home the penalty. But all that did was to put some undeserved gloss on United's humiliation. 